What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Unite and ladies and gentlemen, we are here today showcasing the new Pokemon that has just been released to the game, who is Blissey. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. It really does go a long way. But this Pokemon has just been released and I bought it instantly considering I think this Pokemon is going to be broken. I think it's going to be one of the best support mods and all around just be meta to this game right now. It was 8,000 coins, so it wasn't too bad of a price, but let's showcase it like we're going to do in today's video. So what I want to do in today's video is showcase its best items, showcase some rank battles with it, and go over the move set and what moves I think are best for this Pokemon. Let's get started over here let's hop into the pokemon category check it out there's all its stars it's one star on offense its endurance is pretty high with three and a half stars mobility and scoring is lacking a little bit with one and a half stars but support is where this pokemon is at four and a half stars gonna be one of the best support mods probably gonna want to lock this pokemon in and try to get your hands on this guy so let's go over its moves head over into the move description so the first two moves it can learn it is, is going to be heal pulse or pound so pound is obviously going to be the, your first move that you want to learn considering it's going to be able to help you get wild pokemon level up a lot quicker so it's just a normal basic attack it just slaps up does damage that's all it really does Heal Pulse actually continually restores the user's HP and designate and designated ally Pokemon for a short time. So it's really a ring move right here. And whenever I send it, I can get it every single 10 seconds. It's going to heal me and an ally Pokemon. So really, really good. Get some health up and let's Pokemon stay in battle longer. But let's start off with this top path so we can talk about what Pound splits into. Pound either splits into Egg Bomb or Helping Hand, which I think both these moves are really, really good. It really depends what you want to go to, but I'm leaning more towards Helping Hand. It is a huge buff for all allied Pokemon, so I think that move is going to be broken in this game. But let's start off with Egg Bomb over here. It hurls an egg to the designated location. The egg then explodes, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and throwing them. So what it means by throwing them is say I throw an egg on somebody, it's going to knock them back or knock them in depending on where the egg lands. It also stuns them for a short period of time, so that move is pretty good on the offensive side. When you upgrade it, it also decreases the movement speed of the Pokemon for a short time when they are thrown by this move. So not bad, pretty solid move when you want to get on attacking and try to slow down some Pokemon. But the next move over here, Helping Hand, is where I think this Pokemon is going to thrive. So for a short time, greatly increases the user's and nearby ally Pokemon's movement speed and basic attack speed while this move effect lasts all the users basic attacks become boosted so whenever i use this all of my basic attacks are boosted so i can deal crazy amount of damage on any pokemon around me when you upgrade it, it increases the damage of basic attacks while the move affects less so that is just huge all around it's going to boost all nearby ally pokemon i believe their movement speed their basic attack speed everybody's gonna be faster everybody's gonna be hitting harder and for myself it boosts my basic attack to boosted attack and increases my uh, basic attack damage when it's upgraded. So I think it's going to be phenomenal. I think we're going to be rocking out with that move every single time we use this Pokemon. Let's go into our next category, which is the bottom lane. We can either go to Soft Boil, Boil, or Safeguard, which I think both these moves are great. I'm really kind of unsure which one I want to go into. So what Soft Boil does over here is it throws an egg to an ally Pokemon, restoring its HP as well as the user's HP. A maximum of three uses can be kept in reserve for this move. So what that means is this move stacks. You can't just use it and then wait for the cooldown to go and then use it again, wait for the cooldown. You can actually just let it stack up up to three times, which is huge. So you can throw three eggs instantly and just heal up Pokemon and rock out from there. When this move is upgraded, it increases the maximum number it uses that it can be kept in reserve for this move. So it goes from three to, I believe, four, maybe five. I think it's four, though. Next move is Safeguard, and I'm leaning a little bit more towards Safeguard. I think for the first battle, we're going to be using Soft Boiled or Safeguard. And the other battle, we're going to be switching over and showcasing the other one. But we're definitely using Helping Hand both times for this Pokemon. So what Safeguard does is it removes all status conditions from the designated ally Pokemon and makes it immune to hindrances for a short time. When you upgrade it, it also grants a designated ally Pokemon a shield. So that's where it really gets going. That is when that move really gets going. It's when you can just give a shield to an ally Pokemon. And it's huge all around and it helps out this Pokemon, making it one of the best support Pokemon. So next move we got to go down into is going to be his Unite move, which is Bliss Assistance. It is a buff. So has the users dash to a designated ally Pokemon to give it an egg. Granting that Pokemon a shield and increasing its attack and special attack for a short period of time. This user also intercepts a portion of the damage received by that Pokemon for a short time while dashing the user throws nearby opposing Pokemon and those it comes in contact with. So that is huge. So when I'm dashing towards somebody, any Pokemon in my way just get knocked back, they get thrown out the way, and I give that huge buff to an ally Pokemon. So I think that move is going to be awesome and great all around. So now that we're done with the moveset, let's hop into the items and what I think the best items for Blissey is going to be. 
I have, oh, there are a lot of options for this Pokemon, but you definitely want to be rocking Eject Button as its battle item because your support mod, you want to be able to dip in, dip out, heal Pokemon, and just be able to survive for as long as you can. Let's go over to the held items. These are the held items I'm going to be rocking. It's going to be the Buddy Barrier, the Focus Band, and the Muscle Band. All rock out for any physical attacking Pokemon, and same thing goes for Bussy. Bussy is a physical attacking Pokemon, so we're going to be rocking the Buddy Barrier. It gives him that HP boost. We're going to be rocking the Focus Band, which gives it HP boost when it drops below low HP. It gives it also defense and special defense boost and then that muscle band gives it that basic attack speed boost and that attack boost as well but there are some other items you can use i feel like the buddy barrier the focus band are must use on this pokemon but then i think score shield could actually rock out well you can also use the xp share considering it's a support mod but we'll actually go into an example sets and show off other things that people use so this is basically all the items that top players use or a lot of people use so for support leftovers xp share and buddy barrier is great you can also use these three items right here for scoring this is the one I think is the best one right here. You got the Buddy Barrier, the Focus Band, and the uh, Score Shield. But I do not have a Score Shield level up, so we're going to be rocking out with that Muscle Band for now. And then here are the other ones. But I believe the, the uh, Buddy Barrier and Focus Band are really, really well with this Pokemon and rock out decently well. So that's what I'm going to be rocking with. And that's how we're going to be getting after this battle. But guys, we just showed off the attack moves, showed off the items. Let's hop into some ranked battles and try to get some wins with Blissey. Hopping into our first battle, we were able to lock in Blissey for that bottom lane. We also have Lucario on our team, Alolan Ninetales, Snorlax, and uh, he's switching. He's switching. Wiggly, Tough, and Cinderace. Oh, nope, he keeps switching. But that, that's our team on the left side. We were able to lock in this Blissey, which is amazing. Got that in the bottom lane. We're going to be rocking out with Cinderace. Okay, he's going to take Cinderace over there. Even though Cinderace is that top laner, I'm fine with it, y'all. I don't mind supporting a uh, Cinderace and looking to bring us to victory. I'm loving Blissey so far. I played a few uh, standard battles with her before, and I think the way to go is Helping Hand and then the heal move, which is uh, Soft Boiled. I really do like Soft Boiled over uh, Safeguard, but can't really tell just yet considering I haven't played too much with that. I've only played like one or two matches with her, so we're going to see how this does. The other team is actually rocking a Blissey as well, so this is cool to see a lot of Blisseys on the field, and we get to show this Pokemon off to its fullest potential, but I'm actually glad we have somewhat of an attacker down in that bottom lane with me because I played a uh, standard match with the Blissey, and somebody played Elder Gloss with me, so it was just like two healers trying to battle out, and like we couldn't get any kills. We're support mods. We're just there to support and all that good stuff, but let's see how we do it with an attacker on our side with this Cinderace, but rocking that bot lane, I am going to actually unlock Pound right off the rip, so we can do more damage to these wild Pokemon, and of course, my Cinderace is not here i think that boy's going to the jungle area yeah lucari's going to the jungle area and of course cinerys is not here with me what is he doing is he going afk that buttery biscuit i'm gonna do all this stuff on my own he really picked bottom lane and now he's not showing up we have heal pulse already ready I'm gonna take all these wild pokemon for myself get my levels up i'm actually almost evolved which is huge and here it comes here it comes here comes good old score bunny coming up here and again i gotta do all this on my own <laughs> i gotta do all this on my own i do have a heal pulse which is great I love it. I hear the Pokemon duking it out over there, and I need this uh, score bunny down with me. Cannot do this all on my own. Up up on him, and we are actually going to unlock Soft Boiled. We are going to unlock Soft Boiled. Use it as a nice little heal up for me. And see how it stacks there? See how it's it's ready to go? But, oh crap, we got this guy coming after me. I can't eject button out. I oh, know, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're chilling here. We have one Soft Boiled ready to rock, and we, we're just fine. We're doing just fine. I'm kind of just waiting for the bees to spawn and get some wild enemies up in here. And yo, look at our score bunny. Very, very low here. Very low score, bunny. And here comes this Machamp here. When here comes this Machamp. Let's slap up on them. Heal my team up here. And we're going to try to get rid of this Chansey here. Try to get rid of this Chansey. Come on, get rid of this Chansey. Beautiful. Heal up the team. And we're going to try to take control of these combis here too. Because these are huge all around. These combis are so big all around for XP. The bees, baby. Heal up the squad. Let's slap up on him. Yo, get this dude out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of our game, dude. Right off the rip. Easy points. And here's a Chansey here. We're all scoring here. Which is dope. And I'm going to heal up the squad again. There you go, boys. Heal up. Heal up. We're going to actually unlock Helping Hand, which is huge. So next Pokemon that steps up to us, we should be able to just dominate him and be just fine. Can I hit that on this Pokemon? There we go. These guys are going to step up to us. Go ahead. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. Let's try to bring him out here a little bit more. And now I'm going to just hit Helping Hand us, and we should be chilling here. Should be no problem for us. No problem whatsoever. Get one of them out of here, and I'll actually heal you up over there. I'll heal you up over there, Squirt Bunny or Raboot. Good work for us, yo. Supporting like crazy. Hopefully that Lucario goes back to that mid lane and starts farming up a little bit. That could be great all around. Because right now, I have no attacking moves. I have Soft Bowl to heal up, my basic attack, and a helping hand to help out ally Pokemon. So, I'm really liking uh, Blissey so far. Just fun all around. We got a level 7, which is awesome. Kind of waiting for more bees to spawn, more enemies. And kind of waiting for these guys to poke back, because they're very aggressive. They are super aggressive. He does have a Blissey ready to rock, but it might only be level 4. 
Kind of just chilling in our tower. So I'm just waiting here. Maybe waiting for Dreadnought. Dreadnought should be spawning very, very soon. And 30 seconds. There it is. Okay, so he's level 4. I can probably just like push up on him. And if this uh Rabu comes over here, I would love to do a helping hand here. Let's go. What you want, fool? What you want, fool? Actually drop a nice little soft boil over here. Soft boiled eggs. Form up and just keep doing damage on these guys. Use my helping hand again. And we should be chilling here with these guys. See if I can check it over here. Can I get him? Almost had him. Almost had him. Let's soft boil up. Heal up again. And I'll heal up my squad again. And just be ready to fight. Go for an ally or helping hand again. And just tee off on these guys. Still have my eject button ready. But we get a KO here. Soft boil up again. And we should be able to have a KO here. Oh, we soft boil him. Beautiful, yo. Get the KOs. We're, they're going to be able to take out tower by themselves. So I'm just going to focus on these guys. And trying to get my HP back up. That's huge, yo. The XP is huge. We can actually go get Dreadnought down here. So, that is our plan. Get a lot of uh, XP here. Get our shields up. And we should be thriving. We should be thriving. We're playing really well. Our top lane is getting a little bit ripped. But I'm only focused on us right now. I'm only focused on us. And look at all that XP we're rocking. We are chilling. We are getting really bulky. Hopefully, that Lucario does dip back and go get his jungle area. Yep, there he goes now. Awesome. I love it. Let's me get this so I get my own XP. And that top lane just getting stormrolled. And steamrolled over there, but I think we're fine. I think uh, me, this Lucario, and the Cinderace can actually uh, farm here. And uh, do, do enough work to just chill here. I'm level 9. I can definitely chill under tower and just be fine. I might go steal this core fish. I really want to. Things are going to come back under tower. If they do, I do have my eject button ready to rock. But I think we should be fine. I don't think they're going to come under tower. I'm keeping an eye on that map. I'm keeping an eye on it. There's this. I do not know where they're at. They could be in this bush. And if they are, it's totally fine by me. Nope, not even in this bush. I'm kind of just waiting for enemies to spawn. There are some combis over here, which I really do want. And there, there they are. We're teeing off on these combis. Let me just dip back a little bit. I'm not trying to mess with them. I'm not trying to mess with them. We're waiting for our own enemies to spawn. These guys are pushing up. And I think we're totally fine here. I'm defending really well here. Here's my champ. Here's my champ right here. Let me just get, get on the tower real quick. Soft boil up. And I'm actually going to send my ult here. My ult is awesome. We are going to dip up on this, helping hand him. And we should be fine here. We should be able to get rid of this pussy here. Or he should at least. Oh, no. Pussy's on the move. Well, he's on the move. Let's soft boil up. Heal myself up. We'll heal him up as well. Can he smoke him? Oh, yo, he missed him with the ult. That is awful. You can actually helping hand him here as well. You can just dip back. Let him score these points. There we go. Awesome. And soft boil up. And get out of this. Uh, nope. And, of course, I protect my guy, but he can't protect me. <laughs> I protect my guy. He can't protect me. And the Venusaur is over here scoring some points, which is totally fine. And munching up on our berries, yo. You buttery biscuit. Buttery biscuit. So I'm getting back here. I'm just going to hop over to that base and uh, try to defend for right now. I think we should be fine. I think Gene should be fine. So we got Helping Hand Plus, which is huge, dude. Helping Hand is just so strong in this game. Are they pushing up on tower, or do I have time to actually go do this? I think I have time to actually just tee off on this wild enemy, which I'm totally cool with. Let's tee off on him. Get the XP. Drenault is spawning again, so I'm going to go over there and try to defend him. Drenault is huge. Dude, that Lucario is not getting his jungle area Pokemon, which is rough news for us. I can actually helping hand here if I really want to, which I might do. Yeah, let's helping hand. Soft boil up, and yo, we are we're dead. If I can dip out, I can soft boil again. Yeah, I hate how I had to take a second. I hate how I had to take a second. Ooh, that's rough. That is rough. We just let them run into our thing. And yo, what's wrong? There you are. Was Snorlax there that whole time? He's getting teed off on. There was no point at going in there. Oh, he jacked out. Yeah, okay, I'm with that. Let's go hop in over there and help him. Lucario is actually getting his jungle area now, which is huge. And I'm going to go try to help out these guys. If they're fighting, we are going to send this helping hand. And soft boil up. And just keep teaming from there. Get him. Get these fools out of here. We must have helping hand again. That's rough. Let's helping hand. There's that. And just dip back. Let them do their thing. We should be fine here. Just not let them get the tower. Lucario's getting boosted. Should totally be fine here. And I'm going to pop my ult here. I'm going to pop my all here. I have helping hand ready to go, and we are teeing off. Let's get all these fools out of here. Get all these kills, baby. Get all these kills. Softball the squad up. I almost have helping hand again for this Lucario. That is huge. I'd rather get rid of the Cinderace. There we go, yo. Great team battle there. Get some big damage, yo. I was just a big old support there. Alt it. Granted some shield. Granted a special attack boost. Was able to dominate that team battle. Everybody should go over there, farm their enemies up, and just get some XP. That's the plan for now. Let's get the XP. I'm going to try to get these combis right here. I have my eject button ready to rock. And here are the combis and stuff and things. Let's see if I can actually steal these things. Nope. Cinerace is here. And help actually helping hand everybody. And soft boil up. Soft boil. Soft boil again for a squad. There's KO. And we have soft boil plus, baby. Let's helping hand yet again. And we're going to start teeing off on these combis. I want the XP, baby. Not worried about the kills. I'm going to actually dip back here and soft boil up again. Heal up, squad. Helping hand. 
Heal up, squad. <laughs> Yo, dude, Blissey is broken, bro. See how low we were on the HP board? I'm just like, heal up. Everybody get a boost. Let's rock out. <laughs> Yo, dude, she's beasting up. This is a solid battle, though, right now. I think it's going to come down to, obviously, uh... Obviously, it's going to come down to, uh... Uh, Zapdos, but we already know that. And Dreadnought this spawn. We do want Dreadnought. Can we go up and get him? I'm coming, I'm coming. I think they're going to need me. So there's that KO there. And they already took him out. Wow. That was quick. Quick seconds. You guys want to dip back? I can help and hand you. And soft boy. Yep. There you go. Oh, nope. Gotta get back a little bit. It is a very close battle here. Soft boil you. And I'm going to die here. I'm going to try to dip back here. I'm going to try at least. Helping hand and see if I can defend tower a little bit. Soft boil up again. Keep getting all that HP. And here's my squad. Here's my squad. Let's get it. Let's get it. Once I get this helping hand, we should be popping here. This helping hand. Let's soft boil. Everybody get after it. Everybody get him. Get after him. <laughs> that is great, yo. Just the helping hand is huge. I can do it again. But I'm not going to. Actually, yes, I am. Get him, guys. Get him. Helping hand with a team battle is OP. It is so OP. I have my alt ready to go. We're going to try to steal Zapdos here and win us the battle. But, dude, it's just so good. I've been soft boiling all game. I've been teeing off. Been rocking out here. It's just been great all around. Like pop another soft boil. Get some HP for a squad and try to take this out. I am totally ready for when these guys come in here. Let me use that. I'm going to ult. Give it to the Cinerace. And we're going to get after these guys. Soft boil up. And see if we can just keep popping here. I almost have my uh, helping hand again. So we're going to send. We got it. So, yo, these guys are dead. These guys are dead, yo. Get them out of here. Heal up. Let's get that Zapdos now for sure. Heal up again. Let's take this Pokemon out. Game over, yo. Game over. Helping hand, everybody, again. Let's get rid of Zapdos. Should have no problem doing it. Oh, my lord, yo. That is so broken in team battles. It is so broken in team battles. Venusaur's going for a steal here. And he was not able to get it. You buttery biscuit. Trying to steal our stuff. Get him out of our games. Get him out of our games. I'm going straight down mid. That's it. They are not expecting me to go straight down mid. Get some HP back with that uh, soft boil. And I'm going to walk right down here and just say, hey, yo. Give me them 100 points, baby. Slam dunk. Game over. Game set match. Help me hand the squad out. <laughs> it's just so good. It is just so broken all around. We can heal up Pokemon here, too, as well here. It's just... the Dude, he's so good in, in uh, team battles. It is so broken when you just... Helping hand everybody, they get movement speed, they get attack boost, they get everything at all for them. And it's just easy sweeps with Blissey. I seriously think this is the best support mod in the game. And I think she has to be nerfed very, very soon. Because that is just broken in my opinion. But let's see how we did. Let's see how our character did in general. We scored a decent amount of points, but I really don't care about our stats when, when we're using a support mod like Blissey. I'm just there for... The win. Just the support team and get the win. We have 12 assists, which is amazing. That's how you know we were on a roll. I feel like that's how you know when your support mod is doing good. When they have tons of assists. And that's exactly what we did that game. We had 130 points, 3 KOs, 12 assists, a lot of helping hands, and a lot of heals. Let's hop into our second battle and try to show off Blissey one more time on the rank ladder. We were able to lock in Blissey yet again for our second battle here. We dominated in that last battle. Just showed the power of Blissey in team battles and being paired up with an attacker. You can heal it up. You saw some instances where our team was really low on HP. I was healing them all up, dropping a helping hand, and everybody was just able to rock into the battle and win it with ease. Like There was like three team battles there where I just popped a helping hand and our team cleared it easily but i'm rocking out with garchomp and i'm really loving this team right here this looks like some good team synergy here we got the crustle and the greninja rocking out in that top lane we have the Zavora gonna be able to dominate in the jungle farm up some levels and me and this garchomp in that bottom lane so that's gonna be huge i'm just gonna go with that same moveset because i think that is such a strong moveset definitely need helping hand helping hand is a staple on blissey so if you're not using helping hand you're not playing blissey right i feel like uh egg bomb or soft boiled is the way to go right now i'm rocking out with soft boiled considering i really really liked it but I haven't really tried out uh, Egg Bomb too yet, too much yet. So maybe we'll try that one out in a future video or catch me on streams, guys. I stream five plus days every single week over on my Twitch page. Link is down in the description below. Genes25 on Twitch. Definitely come hang out. We're doing viewer battles on Pokemon Unite and pushing high rank. So if you guys want to catch extra content from me, there's your, there's your chance. Hop in there. Come hang out with me. Say hi. Say what's up. I love talking to you guys, and I love uh, seeing you guys pop out to the streams. But their team's looking kind of similar to us. Both have a Garchomp. Both have a Greninja, but we're the better team. I got Chansey right off the rip, and I'm ready to rock it. Unlock Pound. Yet again, Pound is always the best move to get off the bat. And we can actually take out you. Give me that. Give me that. And yo, Gibble, what are you doing? Gibble. You, what, what is Gibble doing? Didn't you call bottom lane Gibble? I mean, I'll take these points, but we're going to need you here. I think he went and just tried to take out the Fennekin. Or not the Fennekin. Whatever that Pokemon is called. The Lillipup. That's what I was trying to say. 
the back steals from him. I want the levels. I want to evolve. Jeans wants to evolve. I do have heal pulse right around. Keep taking out these guys. And keep rocking here, dude. Keep on bopping, baby. Do have heal pulse ready. But no need to send it just yet. Actually, I'm just gonna send it here just so it starts regenerating. Even though we don't we didn't even need to. So I'm gonna dip over here. I need level four. Level four could be wonderful for me. I might dip and try to steal this wallet and me. Eee, never mind. Never mind. Let's heal pulse up. There you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> get some HP back a little bit during the beginning and we're just gonna chill here and these guys are both level four so I think we should go under tower yo what are you doing buddy what are you doing I can't really do anything for you here comes the roar now we can actually get after it this way let's just keep teeing off on these guys yo where's our boys at we got soft boiled ready to go I have pound ready to rock and I'm gonna eject button up here and Zavora came in at that perfect time yo that is a good jungler right there that jungler just rocked out there gotta love him came in at the perfect time and he's already level six baby He's already level 6, yo. He's teeing off. The core fish are here. He's going to go in there and grab himself the core fish. And that was a perfect example of the jungler being a good jungler. Coming in at the right time. Being able to actually uh, support us. Help us pick up some KOs. And get some points as well. And help us get some levels. So, huge all around. Really brought us back into this game. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Because they were higher levels than us. They had one level on us. We were not going to be able to win that fight. And he came in hot. He came in hot. He came in hot. He came in dirty. Gotta love him. He's in my pound. And we're just getting levels here. Just forming some levels. There's an Audino over here, which I really, really want. I'm just going to steal from him. And Snorlax is dropping through that mid, and he took out our crustal. Yo, what's he doing? We're just going to keep farming here. I think he can take that. Uh, I'm going to go score my three points. Three points that I have into the basket. Let's step back. Oh, can I get out of here? Teal pulse on the squad. And I'm just going to keep teeing off. Yo, you got to get back. You got to get back. You have helping hand, which I can send. I am going to send. Let's see if I can actually steal some KOs here. And I'm just going to have to soft blow it up here. Got my jack button? I do. Awesome. Soft blow again. And I keep getting back. Keep dipping back. Okay, so soft boil, huge, baby. Soft boil is huge. That tower really did save him. I put him on like one HP. If I had a Pokemon that attacked quicker, or if I had a uh, dab bite over here alive a little bit longer, we would have been thriving here. It's just helping hand take this thing out. Get him out of here. Yeah, you want to step up to me? Heal up my squad, and we're going to get after this thing. We're going to get after this thing. Come here. Come here, Vesper Queen. Take him out, get all them levels. Yes, sir. Got that level seven. We have soft boiled farmed over here. We have helping hand ready. So whenever this Gabite wants to pinch up on this, this Lucario, I can help him hand it up. See so if I can get it over here. And they have three over here. So oh, it's Aurora's here. And we helping hand him. That's huge all around. Just keep teeing off. Give him a little bit of HP here. And I should be able to pick up KO on Lucario. Beautiful. Drop another one of these things. And that thing is teeing off on me. There's Aurora. I'm just gonna get some eggs here. And I'm gonna Helping hand him before we go out there and he should have hopped in there way earlier. What is he doing? He could have just fought that gab bite and took him out What is he doing? He had her back there, but it's all good I don't mind dying. I was able to pick up a KO there and finally he gets that KO that is big all around So yeah, we're thriving with Blissey. I'm absolutely loving this Pokemon Absolutely loving this Pokemon Very very fun. I cannot wait for Blastoise to come out here. I have coins ready to go for it But dude, he is amazing. Blissey is just awesome this is awesome. Might have to main it. Might have to just bring it in here and start using it a lot more. Dreadnought is here, so I would love to get the Dreadnought. Love to get the Dreadnought here. Let's see what they do here. In for my squad here. E. He's hopping over there. E, let's helping hand. Let's get after it this way. I'm actually going to Unite move here. Send that there and give some shield and start teeing off from there. Soft boil it up and try to get rid of this Lucario if we can. Night dip up. Did we get it? You lucky buttery biscuit. Did we end up getting it? Oh, yeah, we did. I ended up getting that. That is huge. Can we take out the Dreadnought now? A soft boil. And is Dreadnought still here? Or Oh, no. We already got it. What am I doing? We already got it. Let's just keep farming here. Bees are back. I'm going to come over there. Or he has the bees. What's he fighting over there? Oh, no. He's teeing off on them. Let's give them this. Soft boil him up. Give him some HP. And, yo, he is he is not having it, yo. He, this is just a broken combo here. Helping handing. Healing him up. Leaving him there. We have helping hand plus now. Ready to go. Oh, my lord, dude. Blissey is something else, yo. If you guys haven't bought Blissey, or if your team hasn't bought Blissey, Definitely get him. Get him on your team. He's amazing. He's unreal. Greninja's popping off in that top lane. I'm just going to keep getting some of these Pokeballs and just being here for support. Greninja popping off again, yo. Got road time as well. I'm going to go over here and just farm some levels because the more levels I get, the bulk I get, which is huge all around. I'm going to pop a hand, helping hand for myself because all my basic attacks get boosted from there. And now we have a huge lead. Can I just sneak in these 17 points? I'm going to sneak him in. We have some war here as well. And helping hand plus ready to go in case somebody wants to hop up here. Let's pop it and now let's get after this guy. Let's get after him. Get him after him. Get him out of here. 
Drop a soft boiled, heal up team. Even though we're under tower, as long as one more doesn't come here. There's another helping hand. Everybody can score. Everybody can put in their points. We thrive and get that tower out of our game. Get it out of here. I know I'm level 10, but dude, Blissey is just, just broken, dude. You don't even need to be a high level to be doing work with Blissey. You just hit that helping hand button, and it is insane. Yabba yeah, is going to come around this side. And I think we just chill on our tower. I'm just going to uh, farm up these bees that just spawned. Yep, there they are. Hello, bees. Pop my own helping hand and just have boosted attacks all day. Get some boosted attacks. Be able to do more damage. And we made the other team surrender, which is huge. Oh, my lord. Blissey making other teams surrender. Domination. Crazy strong Pokemon right here. It's a must-buy, must-have for a team. I think it's going to be a staple in the meta, and it's just going to be dominating until it gets nerfed, in my opinion. But let's see how we did here. How many assists I have? Three and five. Not bad. Grand Ninja did carry us. I wouldn't... Actually, he did not carry us. What am I saying? He carried us. He had eight kills. He had the most kills. He was MVP. He had the most scores as well. But, yo, we rocked out in that bottom lane with me and Garchomp. Just a great combo. It's having Blissey with a solid attacker like Garchomp. Garchomp is amazing there. He hits hard. You're able to heal him up. You're able to give him an attack boost. All that good stuff. And give your team a chance for victory with Blissey. Buying Blissey might have been my best purchase yet. This Pokemon is amazing and so much fun to use all around. You don't even have attacking moves, and she's so much fun. Like, that just shows what kind of character Blissey is. You rock out with that soft ball, healing up the teammates, and then helping hand to give all allied Pokemons in a radius of you a boost in attack give them shields all that good stuff it's just amazing all around but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody